kindred longevity lifestyle designers. This is Zach here with Secrets of Longevity in Humans.com as well as ZachMartinKilgore.com and I encourage you to go over there by clicking the more info box, finding the links and just seeing all the information I've been putting up at those sources. Um, I've been getting a lot of interest lately into uh, people asking me how to or more information about a low sugar diet or what's called a low glycemic diet or even a no glycemic diet. Now I personally, I'm on a low glycemic diet I would say. I don't eat mass, the massive amounts of fruit that you see a lot of people talking about in the raw food community. So this is specifically a low glycemic diet while eating raw food. Having been to the Hippocrates Health Institute and learned about the problems that a high sugar diet can cause for the body, whether it's fruit, simple sugars, uh, agave nectar, etc. Um, I've pretty much come to the conclusion that this is something that we need to do for our own longevity is to get off the sugar addiction. There's a massive, massive addiction in people in general, not just the raw food world, uh, to sugar. And this is perhaps comparable to cocaine addiction in terms of the types of chemicals that are uh, causes to be released in the brain and the type of addictiveness. Now if you were to suddenly go to cold turkey with no sugar, it's not, uh, technically it's not physically addictive. So it is a very strong emotional addiction. People go to sugar, and they also go to fat, um, to feed that part of themselves that's not getting um, love, as a matter of fact. So perhaps my number one thing I'd say about moving towards a low glycemic diet if you're going to begin that transition um, really be prepared to start loving every aspect about yourself because it is going to be very difficult not to. You have to have radical self-honesty about what you know is best for yourself and be prepared to push through the blockages that are going to come up in your life and uh, stick to this plan for however much time you've uh, decided to stick with it for. Now I'm not going to go into any specifics about exactly how um, a low glycemic diet can help your longevity, etc. I do go into that if you go back and search uh, episode 59 on this YouTube channel, if you're watching this on YouTube, or you can go to YouTube and go to my Secrets of Longevity, all one word, that's the name of my channel, you can go back to uh, number 59, which is titled Eating Raw Food Benefits Longevity dot 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 space unless you're fruitarian and it's a three-part series and I go into a lot of the more details about how fructose is harmful to our long-term health as well as sh uh, simple sugars. So why would you want to eat a diet or a raw food diet that's uh, I mean I always hate the word diet so I'm gonna say raw food lifestyle uh, that is low in simple sugars. Well, if you happen to be someone who's currently suffering from cancer, uh, any form of diabetes or other metabolic syndrome such as heart disease, arteriosclerosis, uh, as well as uh, any fungal overgrowth, bacterial problem such as problems in the gut flora, uh, parasite issues in the blood or anywhere else in the body, um, there's a wide range of issues which are exacerbated by simple sugars. And this has been well known in holistic health and complementary health, perhaps even in mainstream medical health, although they don't tend to they tend not to give certain protocols such as donating sugar. I don't I'm not even I'm not clear on this, but I don't even know what their recommendations are for cancer patients as to what they should be eating. Uh, I know they do have specific dietary recommendations, but I'm not sure if they take the sugar out or not. I just haven't done research because I'm not all that interested in that specifically. But what I do know is that the Hippocrates Health Institute, the Tree of Life Institute, and uh, all these other places that are really actually working with people in terms of getting them through their diseases, they are having success on low sugar diets. And I guess I should always remember to say low simple sugar. I mean, your body does, all the cells in your body do run on glucose, which is a sugar, but all macronutrients are eventually broken down into glucose. So uh, that argument that 
a lot of people use if they're fruitarian, for example, that every cell runs on glucose, so that's what we need to eat is glucose. Uh, that just does not add up because uh, carnivores also run on glucose in their cells, but you don't see them chowing down on bananas. Uh, a wolf won't survive on just bananas. So perhaps the number one most important thing for long-term health that we want to eliminate by, or remedy by eliminating simple sugars is inflammation. Simple sugars are implicit in, in every form of inflammation because at the root of all inflammation is nanobacteria. And nanobacteria are a form of bacteria, a pathogen, and whether there's still controversy as to whether or not these are living organisms, but we do know for sure that they create these calcium shell, uh, almost like barnacles inside the body. And people have heard David Wolf talking about this a lot, but if you actually start looking at the scientific research, it's really fascinating that there's this emerging field in microbiology that's looking at the effects of this sort of foundational um, problem that occurs in the body, which appears to be the root of all disease. So if we can stop feeding the root of all disease, then we know that we're going to be a much better off. So this is perhaps the most important reason why we would want to eat a low simple sugar diet. Very quickly, I also just want to add, and this is, I talk about this in the three-part series I mentioned that you should check out if you want to learn more about this. Advanced glycation end products are, or what are known as AGEs, are created by low glucose in the body. When the blood sugar is too high and there's glucose circulating through our cells, to all our cells, it interacts and reacts with proteins uh, throughout the body causing these AGEs. Now, this is sort of like a protein sugar uh, that's become cross-linked and it's very tough, not very flexible and it has, it's a common characteristic of aging that you become more stiff, less flexible, more droopy. This is exactly what the accumulation of AGEs in the body causes. And these AGEs build up over time so it's not an immediate thing. Uh, you see people eating a lot of sugar or a lot of fruit and they're getting tons of calories so they look very vital and energetic and can talk really fast and etc etc however look at them 20 years from that point on and there's they start going downhill perhaps they're far better than a sort of mainstream type diet but when you compare it to the low simple sugar diets uh, it just it's unbelievable the difference that happens over the long term. Aging definitely has increased and I also want to mention that fructose, which is similar to glucose, except it has a very different metabolic pathway through the body. It gets uh, gets um, metabolized by the liver and it reacts and forms these advanced glycation end products in the body as well, but seven times more frequently than glucose. So if you have lots of rogue fructose in your body, you're just accelerating aging seven times faster than uh, even someone that has a bit of table, white table sugar in their diet, which is mostly sucrose, which is glucose bonded together. So after perhaps you've decided to go on a no sugar diet, no simple sugar diet, which would be composed of some of the things I'm going to talk about, um, you can, as your own, however you feel is appropriate for you, in the long term, you can decide whether you eventually go back onto a small amount of fruit or uh, honey or whatever form of simple sugars you want in your diet. You could probably add a little bit of that back in once you've gone through a period of no sugar. If you happen to have one of these issues I've talked about, and pretty much everyone does, if you want to knock down the parasite and pathogenic load in the body the quickest and the most effectively, you want to go no simple sugars for anywhere from six months to two years. And the worse your uh, disease state is, the longer you're going to want to do it. Now after that period, you can choose to add in these things again in small quantities, and I do discuss that in my previous video series, so if you want more information on that, check that out.